couldn't help but notice the strong Native American presence in the audience tonight. I also couldn't help but notice they had some of the very best seats in the house. I asked how did that happen, and they said they had reservations. <laughs> because when I showed her my poem, she dug it. <laughs> she must have been a baseball player's daughter, because when I showed her I had two balls with one out, she ran for home. <laughs> she must have been a fisherman's daughter, because when I showed her my rod, she reeled. <laughs> she must have been a mechanic's daughter, because when I showed her my nuts, she bolted. <laughs> She must have been a gunsmith's daughter, because when she showed me her 38s, I cocked them. <laughs> she must have been a New England fisherman's daughter, because when she showed me her clam, I chowed her. <laughs> I'd like to share some lyrics with you that I wrote when I was 14 years old. If it sounds like sophomore humor, that's okay. I was only a freshman. <laughs> a lady whose name was Susanna, on herself had used a banana. Instead of a, instead of a brute, she much preferred fruit, and she did it again in Montana. <laughs> there was a young girl with a twat, and that thing was hotter than hot. If you stick it inside, your meat will get fried, so be careful. One dick's all you got. <laughs> Yeah. 
in her 40s. She was well developed. I asked her would it be okay if I took some pictures of her nude. She said that sounded like fun, so we went out to my van where I took all my clothes off and took some pictures of her. <laughs> Taking pictures of her in the nude wasn't near as fun as either one of us thought it was going to be. She got all negative and looked in a flash. I went back inside and continued on down the line to where it was a 50 something. Now she'd already seen me try to pick up the 20 something, the 30 something, and the 40 something, and she tied into me right away. I find you so revolting, you made my skin crawl. I said, oh, is that what that is? <laughs> I just thought those were wrinkles. <laughs> she pointed her finger at me and grit her teeth. I said, I know, I know. You get me and my little dog, too. <laughs> now down the line, I went to where there were some 60-somethings. I finally ended up going home that night with a 70 something, and the next day when I told my son about it, he said, Dad, why didn't you come home with one of the 60 somethings? I said, Well, son, they didn't offer me as much money as the 70 something. <laughs> he said, What? You had sex for money? I said, Well, come on now, I don't fuck fossils for free. 